Hey everybody, this is CB904, also known as Andrew again, back for part 4 of Wanted Weapons of Fate. And this is starting to go really quickly, so the last one, the last uh, Act 3, I think was like 11 minutes all together. So um, I'm actually recording this all in one night, so this should go by fairly quickly. Um, so this is part of, this is the start of Act 4, and we're learning about enhanced movement and everything. So we have to get underneath cover here. And see these guys. Um, actually, not available right now. So, as you can see, we've been mostly dealing with the A button, and then we can do Y. Press while I'm peeking to do an enhanced quick move to nearby cover and shoot several enemies in one go. And all that means is, um, remember those little cool cutscenes? I think that's what we're gonna do here. So, bam, bam. See? It just means that we're going to uh, do these cool little cutscenes here. Yeah, isn't that cool? Alright. I think we gotta hit all of them in one. Oh, we had actually had to pull them off the thing. Yeah. Whatever. In your face. Alright, so yeah. So instead of just doing the A button and just going between cover, we can actually use the Y button and do those cool little bullet time type things. So... Let's start into Let's 4. Oh, we're still doing stuff. Okay, press A to go underneath cover. To kill two enemies to earn enough adrenaline for an advanced quick movement. Alright, so. There's one. There's two. Shoot both enemies in one go using an enhanced quick movement to complete the tutorial. Alright, so this will take away. Instead of doing uh, the the, uh, the right trigger, or the right bumper where you where you can do your, uh, your bullet move, your little uh, curved bullet. We're going to do, use it by doing this, and shoot him in the head, shoot him in the head right there, right? We get him back. Super sweet, huh? Let's go There's use the cool things that we know think that into this that one. Is all there is to it, but oh, we're still doing more lucky, tutorials? We'll stay alive long enough to realize that there's a big difference between shooting a gun oh, yeah, and okay. an assassin. No more anxiety attacks. You learn the advanced quick movements ability. So let's do this. Fear of flying. We're 30,000 feet above the Alps. Oh, there's Cross. Cross is back. She was a whore. You can tell her that. Damn. It's a nice car, though. Damn. Just try and get me. Still don't even know why he's even on the plane to begin with. And where is Wesley? Alright, so we know the purpose of this mission is we're trying to get to the top of the airplane to get off this airplane by going to the cockpit to get the, uh, the emergency parachutes. But this is not going to be very easy, as you can tell. Damn it. And I don't have any quick time type cool things. I've got to... I think he's got cooler weapons though, honestly. Let's go. Let's go forward. Ah. Alright, killed him. Let's keep going. So I want to have two of those little bullet time things. Is that badass car? Now, as you can see, I have the I have the Y button here. Kill him. Ah, oh, he's not dead yet. That's another thing. If, sometimes these bullets won't kill them. They'll just simply uh, make him suffer like that. Let's get out of this move up. Keep moving. Let's go. Let's roll. He did a good shot on me. I think Cross is a badass in this game, to be honest with you. I didn't get him. Let's move forward. They think they know where I'm at. Oh, man. 
I'll get him. He's right there. Gotta fuel up some of this ammo. Replenish my ammo. Should be another guy right here. Yeah. Can't mess with Cross. Cross is an OG. Cross is the original gangster in the fraternity. Let's keep going. So, ah, should we use our newfound cool combat move that we learned? Or we can just shoot him with a headshot. We can do that. Even if you don't kill the guy, it's still useful to do the bullet because you can get them out of cover, which is essentially all you need. Yeah, there you go. See, that's all you need is to get them out of cover, is to um, do that move on them. So we're going to go up the elevator into the next portion. You're just looking like a total badass there. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, shoot. Everybody's dying on this thing. They were not messing around. But no, look at Cross. It looks like a total badass in that outfit though. I think it's one of like, the coolest one of the coolest suits I've ever seen in a first person shooter game. Cross does look like a badass, I will have to say. Alright, so this is the same principle as the Russian one. Um, you push those carts, obviously. This is actually one of my favorite levels in the game here. So we're going to push this card up. Um, to get up here. I think I was supposed to shoot guns and planes because it's freaking air pressure and stuff. We're going to go this way. Didn't shoot and kill him, but he's going to make his way this way. That's where we'll get him right there. Get some of this ammo here. There we go. Same principle here. Keep pushing this card up forward. Ooh, I want that to happen. This is one of my favorite levels, and you'll see why it's one of my favorite. Like this right there. Now it starts getting shaky because we busted out the freaking door of the plane. Alright, so we've got to go this way, but as you can tell, <laughs> there's not much we can do because the plane is going down. This gets, gets a little bit tricky here. Ah, oh, man. I love this part. I love this game. Oh, this level of the game. I get some of this ammo that played out. Okay, let's keep going. It gets better. Trust me, it gets better. Alright, so things everything's good this way. Let's go. Next portion of the plane. Got him hostage, so let's go. I ain't got time for you. Alright, uh. Killed him, because he's almost dead. Let's keep going. Where's the next one's at? How do we get this guy? I get a little closer. Ah, damn, I missed that guy. Come on, 
guy. You know, there we go. He's dead. Let's go. On to the next one. Just right. Bam! We gotta go there and get him because he was just not coming out of undercover. Let's keep going. Thinking our way out to the freaking cockpit of the plane. Oh, there we go again. Way up front. This guy here, smash in the face with my knee. I think if you go too close to there, then you'll end up dying. So yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't recommend getting anywhere near that thing. Yeah, that was off the handle. Get him, let's get him. There we go. Let's roll, daddy. Let's roll. Oh, there's more guys over there. Let's get all this ammo real quick. Oh, my goodness. This gets intense. I think it's just funny, though, because of all the... Out of all the levels in this game, I think this is the coolest. And it's not even... His dad is not even really the main... Well, it's supposed to be a game based off the freaking movie, and then it's mostly his dad. And his dad, I think, is the coolest freaking part of this game. Look how badass this guy is, man. This guy's a total badass. Can't wait to get the better gun. Oh, oh, smash! Kind of juke me out there for a second. Everybody's dying. All right, so this is one of those cool planes. You gotta go downstairs. I've never been on one of those kind of planes, but well, oh, they know I'm coming. I have the last parachute cross. There is no escape for you here. Why? Why'd you do it? Have you asked yourself the same question? Elise would be alive if you hadn't infected her with your seed. That seed has a name. Wesley, yes I know, and I have something of his cross this. You son of a bitch. Oh, look at that. That's some badass Only shooting right motel. there. Or maybe you will learn to fly. Shit. But it says Wesley had a bullet. You had a wet name drive. on that bullet that was for me. That ain't gonna happen. So the plane's going down. We gotta get. We gotta find a way to get out of here. This is what I'm talking about. This is one of the coolest parts of this movie. Look at this. Oh, this game. Look at this. This little action scene is one of the coolest action scenes I've ever. Way out of here. Climb, climb, climb. The cross is a freaking badass, though. You can't deny that. Look at this. Aw, oh, man. He got me. He didn't get me. This one did give me some trouble, though. Whenever I first played this game, it gave me a little bit of trouble just because of those shots like that. You gotta, you gotta name it perfectly. Like, get the bullet out of the way. If you don't get the bullet, you're going to end up getting hit regardless. But if you don't get it within the time frame that it gives you, you're, it's an instant kill anyways. So. so you end up got to do two shots there. You really don't move that fast because it's supposed to be that quick time. Nah, I thought that was a headshot there, but I guess it didn't it didn't work correctly. Let's go. Let's go, Cross. You gotta get off this plane. Final 
I thought I didn't get anything right there. Fiery, fiery mess. Ah, so there's one. And then you gotta find out where he is. I didn't see him. I think you just gotta pull the trigger crosshairs over that certain spot and hopefully you get him. No, this is badass though. He's like jumping across chairs. The plane is going down. He's determined to get off of this plane. I don't blame him. This is this is total badass move right here. I'm about to die. Oh, oh that was luck right there. But no, this is total badass move. This is the coolest part. This just shows how badass it crossed it. I mean, I've said that like four times, but no, this is awesome. It's like it's like a cutscene, quick time event all in one. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. I don't know how you, you jump start a freaking car with a knife, but but Croft did it because he's a badass, and that's what badasses do. Driving this plane or this uh, car down the side of a mountain off off a freaking plane that was going down, that crashes into the side of the mountain. Dude, this is just epic. Epic proportions of badassery right here. Find the other two guardians, and you will know where they plan to take the Chicago room. Is it true the immortal had a bullet with my name on it? Yes. I believe so. How do you know? Okay. Because I made it. The Paris fraternity Douche. ordered a hundred more just like it. I'm meeting their buyer, a man named Brummel, in half an hour. Care to tag along? Alright, so we're going to do the old man. Shut the fuck up, is this one? Oh, haha. So we completed Act 4 on Assassin and, you know, the achievement of the easy one coming in through. So we are going to meet here. Uh, the old man is going to meet a guy named Brummel, which I think is that guy right there. Um, and. We, oh, she she sees me. Shit. Bukowski was on his own. I figured he'd understand. Well, that sucks. But let's finish this cutscene real quick, and I'll start explaining. Oh, this is the office one. I think there's an achievement in here too that we're gonna find out I here. Gotta in just get a, a closer second. look at Brummel's tattoo. All right, so. Um, this is the end of part four of the Let's Play of Wanted Weapons of Fate. Uh, we just realized, learned why, uh, um, uh, that the, the Immortal has a bullet from my name on it. Um, uh, my badass dad was trying to get out of the plane. And, uh, now we were supposed to interfere with a meeting with the old man and a guy named Brommel, who is the second of three guardians to transport the loom and figure out what is going on with this story. And as such, um, since this is the end, we're going to end it right here and then pick up again with part five. So without further ado, I'm um, Andrew, also known as CB904. Thanks for tuning in, and you're going to see us here soon on part five.